Welcome to Arvada Reservoir. It is one of two sources of drinking water for the residents of Arvada. The other source is Ralston Reservoir to the west, which is owned and operated by Denver Water. Arvada Reservoir is supplied by Ralston Creek to the west and from Clear Creek via canals to the east. We treat the water from these reservoirs at one of our two treatment plants, where operators work 24-7 year-round to ensure safe and great tasting water, and we consistently meet all drinking water regulations. Arvada Reservoir holds about 6,400 acre-feet of water and is primarily used in the summer months with our peaking plant when demand goes up. In the winter, we treat about 8 million gallons per day, but in the summer, we often treat up to 35 million gallons per day. We sample the Arvada Reservoir and the incoming canals most of the year, except when it's frozen, for parameters like dissolved oxygen, chlorophyll, nutrients, metals, and others. Locals also enjoy Arvada Reservoir for trout and walleye fishing, kayaking, wildlife watching, along with the nearby biking trails and the great views. Here at the Westwoods Golf Course, the Ralston Creek Trail crosses the canals that are the water highways through our watershed. Not only do they provide water for our communities and communities downstream, these canal crossings are a pathway for wildlife to safely travel from habitat to habitat. Westwoods Golf Course is special in that it is a certified Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary for Wildlife and adheres to strict guidelines to protect the environment and the water around the course. Approximately 32,000 golf courses are worldwide, and less than 2% of them are ACSP courses. In order to be a certified sanctuary, Westwoods, which is operated by the city of Arvada, maintains native habitats with milkweed and wildflowers for pollinators. They can serve water with smart irrigation that will adjust for weather conditions and alert staff of any leaks, and they even have a beehive to help with pollinating the landscape and making small batches of local honey. But most importantly, they have to carefully monitor and collect chemicals used to keep the grasses green and the machines running in a space where it cannot contaminate the canals or any other stormwater runoff. The trail pathway through the golf course is a great way to see the results of these sustainable practices and enjoy the beautiful sounds of nature in the area.
Do you know what this is? It is a stormwater outfall. You may see them emerging out of the banks of a creek when the bike path nears the creek. When it rains or there's snow melt, runoff goes into inlets in the curb and gutter and the flow comes out into the creek. That means whatever is washed into the inlet ends up here. Cigarettes, trash, pet waste, fertilizers, everything can end up in the creek. In some cases, plumbers accidentally hook up sanitary lines to groundwater under drains, which also flow to the creeks. Our creeks can take a beating. If you see something strange, discolored water, scum, foam, coming out of an outfall, call the city to report it. You are our best eyes in the field. So we are all connected. We are at Davis Lane Park, Sims Street and West 70th Avenue. Ralston Creek and Leiden Creek converge in this park. Recently, the city installed a watershed sign to show that these watersheds do not stop here, but instead flow all the way to the Gulf of Mexico, with all the communities along the way needing fresh water free of contamination. In 2020, the city of Arvada partnered with Mile High Flood District and installed a sedimentation basin along Ralston Creek here. It allows sediment and other pollutants to settle out in the basin prior to entering the pond. The basin is easier to maintain. On a routine basis, the city will remove the sediment in the basin so the pond does not silt in. The city and Mile High Flood District work together to improve our waterways and the quality of water that flows through them. Well, here we are at Arvada Tennis Center, located off West 64th and Miller Street. The area to the north and east of the Tennis Center is located in Ralston Creek's floodplain. A floodplain is basically a designated land area that's susceptible to being flooded by floodwaters from any source. In this particular instance, the flood source would be Ralston Creek. Within the boundary limits of a floodplain, the width, the depth, and the speed of the waters can drastically vary. As you can see, there is some open space preserved through this parkland that would allow for safer passage of floodwaters if we were to experience a large flood. However, in an area just downstream of this tennis center is an area we call the Narrows. When FEMA officially mapped the floodplain in the 70s, they found that that area had a very narrow creek that was created by the development in the 50s, and it couldn't contain the 100-year flood event. Unfortunately, when inadequate space isn't preserved in floodplain areas, like the Narrows, floodwaters will have to find its easiest path, which unfortunately happens to be through neighborhood streets, residents' yards, and even at times through their homes. As a result of this risk, many of these homes in these areas are required to purchase flood insurance. Many people tend to think that the 100-year flood is something that happens once every 100 years. It's actually a common misconception. It's actually a 1 in 100 chance or 1% chance of a 100-year event happening or being exceeded in any given year. A 
flood can't be prevented from occurring. However, the city is committed to actively working towards solutions that can help reduce flood risk for our community.